My name is Uicho Wadagwa. I'm an assistant professor of neurological surgery at University of Texas on Western Medical School. Welcome to the basic lumbar spine coding bits. The aim of these very short videos is to teach you how to code for basic lumbar pathologies. Before you think about coding, you have to understand the very basics. We have the, um, the ICD and the CPT codes which stand for the International Classification of Diseases and Current Procedural Terminologies. The way I think about it is the ICD-10 codes are the reasons why we seek care, and the CPT codes are the tests and procedures that were performed uh, for those pathologies. There are over 70,000 plus uh, ICD-10 codes, and this is really generated and managed by the World Health Organization. And the CPT codes, which were established in 1966, uh, there are currently just over 9,000 of those codes. So basically, ICD-10, the way we communicate to one another's providers um, about what patients' pathologies might be, and CPT codes, the way we communicate the tests and procedures that were performed um, on these patients. So when I think about coding, this is the pyramid that I think about. Um, what's the diagnosis? What's the approach? Was it minimally invasive? Was it open? Was the anatomical location? What levels were involved? Decompressions, arthrodesis, were they performed? What instrumentation plays? What types of grafting and other procedures? Most of this video would be aimed at uh, microdiscectomies. However, this is the general algorithm that I use in my mind when I code for procedures. Basic uh, spinal anatomy, we have cervical uh, vertebrae, we have lumbar vertebrae, five vertebrae with laudotic curves, and then we obviously have 12 uh, thoracic vertebrae, which are usually the kyphotic regions of the body. Uh, what parts of the lumbar vertebrae are in, uh, uh, do you need to know? You need to know what the pedicles, the body, the facet joints, the lamina, the transverse processes, and really I try to divide these into the anterior column of the vertebral body and the posterior column, which would include the pedicles, the lamina, the facet joints, transverse and spinous processes. Um, when you think about the ICD-10 uh, coding book, this is really a complete uh, uh, documentation of all the codes that we have available to us. And chapter six of the disease of the nervous system, this is where you would find uh, the M codes. Uh, and chapter 13, uh, really where you would find the musculoskeletal collective tissue codes. These are not uncommon examples. It's a 55-year-old female who presents with eight weeks of neck pain and left C6 radiculopathy. She had failed six weeks of conservative therapy. She had had physical therapy, um, exhausted her ph um, pharmacotherapies, she had a cervical injection, underwent chiropractic manipulation. She's a non-smoker. She's married. She has three children. She works as a teacher. Here you can see the sagittal MR on the axial cuts of MRI, and you can see that left paracentral disc radiation at C5, uh, C6. This is another uncommon, another not uncommon example. This is a 40-year-old construction worker who presents with nine weeks of back pain, as well as a left S1 radiculopathy. The pain began acutely after lifting heavy objects at work. He failed 10 weeks of conservative therapies. And these included exactly what you would expect for pathologies like this, physical therapy, pharmacotherapy, lumbar epidural steroid injections, chiropractic manipulation. He's a former smoker, he's married, and he has one child. So how would you code uh, for these cases? Um, in both of these cases, you decide to perform a microdiscectomy. Um, how would you code for those microdiscectomies? So the first thing to recognize, these are posterior-based discectomies, and we, dis we divide them to, into initial discectomy, both in the cervical and lumbar, and then we will discuss redo discectomies later on. So for the first case I presented, assuming you performed a laminotomy with decompression of the nerve roots, including partial facetectomy, foraminotomy, and or excision of herniated intervertebral disc across one interspace in the cervical spine, you would code that as a 63020. If you perform the exact same procedure, but in the lumbar spine, you would code that as a 630330. For each additional interspace, cervical or lumbar, you code using 63065. 
A few coding tips as you code for your discectomies. Keep in mind the repair of the annulus is included in the discectomy codes and not separately reported with an unlisted code 22899 or 644999. Use the same codes for MIS discectomies using tubular retractors. Do not use a percutaneous discectomy where the procedure is performed under fluoroscopy with no direct visualization of the anatomy. This is very important. Endoscopic assisted laminotomies require open and direct visualization, so be careful when you're coding and be sure to document direct visualization. If direct visualization is not appreciated, then you might want to code as a percutaneous procedure and report using 02742. You may report 63020 or 630330 with modifier 50 if bilateral herniated disc are documented. If 63035 is performed bilaterally, use 63035 times two units and not 63035 with modifier 50. So let's proceed to redo uh, discectomy. So if you perform a laminotomy, with decompression of the nerve roots, including partial facetectomy, foraminotomy, and or excision of herniated intervertebral disc. If this is a re-exploration, single interspace in the cervical spine, use the code 63040. If you perform the exact same procedure, but in the lumbar spine, and it's a re-exploration, you use the code 63042. For each additional interspace, if it's in the cervical spine, you use 63043, and if it's in the lumbar spine, you use 63044. A few coding tips for the redo discectomies. Do not use these codes for redo laminectomies if a redo discectomy is not performed. These codes are valued higher for additional work, and so it's important to state in your op note that there was excision of scar tissue, distorted landmarks, or whatever challenges you experienced approaching the disc. If 63043 or 63044 are performed bilaterally, use 63043 times two units or 63044 times two units and not 63043 or 63044 with a modifier 50. Thank you very much for listening. And uh, uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Thanks. Bye-bye.